No, he he doesn't believe he doesn't believe Shug did it, and uh, they never believed Shug did it. You know, so um, no. They so, were, so let me they, ask they you They wanted something. to talk to Shug. They wanted to talk to Shug, not necessarily because they thought he was a suspect. You know, but uh, so you know, let me ask you something. Not, this is just a personal opinion now. Um, do you think this <laughs> conspiracy that it was an inside job that Shug Knight was behind it? Do you think this is just a classic example of people's unwillingness to accept the fact that somebody as big as Tupac was killed by a nobody, like Orlando Anderson, and then believing, believing yeah. that somebody that's in a greater, more powerful position, such as Suge Knight, gives Tupac's death more meaning somehow? Do you think that's why people believe it? They have a hard time... Yeah, I think they're angry at they're angry at him. I mean, Tupac wanted to pull out, but, but what what's so unusual about that? Every... You know, every uh, singer gets into that position where, you know, they go in very naive. And, you know, I mean, when they're out on tour, if they, if they choose to stick a gum, it's charged off to them, you know, <laughs> off to the singer. And, and so they, you know, they, they, they become sophisticated in the business recording industry after they become big. And then they go, holy moly this contract sucks and I want out and I'm going to go off on my own and do an indie label or whatever you know yeah, right. and that's all Tupac wanted to do and it's not and Shook was helping him he was actually going to helping him start you know start the, I mean I went to I went to Tupac's office in LA yeah. you know and and uh, Yafafola's mother was there and Yasmin yeah Yasmin mm -hmm. yeah she was running it and and um he was office manager, but yeah. you know, I mean, should set him up. He's the one who pays for that office, and and so the thing is, how would should know that Tupac was better, was worth more dead than alive? And we don't know if that's true, do we? Because yeah, I read in your book. He's making a lot of money, and we don't. And of course, he's going to be worth a lot, but he would have been worth a lot alive too. Yeah, he, he was so big. Right. You know, he was becoming so big, and he was speaking, and you know, at colleges and at, at rallies, and he was becoming the voice for that generation. You know, he, somebody was threatened by him. You're right. In fact, uh, on page 206 and 207 of your book, to any anyone who's listening who's got the book in front of him, uh, you refute the the myth that uh, Tupac was worth. Uh, more dead than alive, and uh, you... you know, I mean, he was he was he was a workaholic. He was cutting music right and left, and cutting cutting sign, uh, songs. And um, so it, it's not you know, to, uh, Shug's not going to kill his you know one of his big money makers. He's going to help them, you know, walk, walk along with him and 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 keep him with him, but let him have a have a sort of imprint, as they say in the publishing industry, sort of an imprint business that's connected to, uh, you know, his own label. Yeah, right. He was trying to help him. They, they weren't, they were going to, they were collaborating, but he wanted to be more independent and get, you know, wanted the masters and what they all want. You know, they want the master tapes, and but they don't learn that till they get into the business, you know. Yeah. So he was no different from you know, any other artist who's been screwed by a record label. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a book that so Tupac common. even... There's a book that Tupac even suggested uh, that I bought by Tupac's okay. plug-in called uh, Everything You Need to Know About the Record Industry. And they talk about how record industries are probably uh, the shadiest deal that uh, one of the... That record... Uh, that musicians are in a, just a horrible position. And yeah, Tupac's it's worse, no different. And it's like, you know, on... Uh, I mean, the book industry is is a step up from it, you oh, know. Really? But, well, yeah, it's not that you. I mean, if you go on a book tour, they pay for it, but they don't charge off everything, you know. Oh. Well, now they're not paying for them as much as they used to, but no, it's not that. I mean, the authors are the last paid, but certainly huh. you get you get pretty good deal. Yeah, right. So, whereas in the record industry, these guys have to have mega, mega, mega records and, and, you know, gold and platinum to make money off of them. Otherwise, they don't make jack. Yeah, right. And and Tupac was selling records right and left. Oh, yeah. and, and so he, um, I, I think actually um, uh, Sean Combs probably gave Biggie Smalls a better deal than Suge Knight gave Tupac. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Suge uh, Knight, Knight was... Uh, 
Death Row had all the talent in the world, they had all the money in the world, and Suge Knight still managed to mess it up. He was a business major at UNLV, and oh. people liked him there. I mean, I interviewed people there, and, you know, he was captain of the football team in, like, 87. And, right. I mean, so that, obviously, he had leadership skills. Yeah. yeah. And, and, I mean, he got in a little trouble here in town, you know, in the, yeah. in the late 80s. And, and um, but, no, I mean, that was his first business. Yeah, you know, right. He, you know, he cut his teeth on it, and then, you know, when it, when, you know, you have a meteor, meteoric rise that you, um, you know, you, you learn the hard way in business, and yeah, it wasn't perfect, and the, and the stars are the ones that, you know, the talent are the ones who suffer, and they don't figure it out for a long time. Hmm. Well, you know, the thing, the big beef that Tupac had was, you know, he had cars, he had a house, he had all this, but should, should have paid for everything. Yeah, then, right. So basically, Tupac was worth a lot on paper. Yeah. But he didn't see the money himself. I mean, he liked throw money at him, but it wasn't like he was giving him regular, you know, paychecks. Or, yeah, it wasn't giving him regular royalties or whatever. The way I get royalties off of a book, he wasn't receiving it that way. He'd just throw money at him and keep track of it. And so he, he felt a little bit under his thumb. Yeah. But, you know, I don't believe in the rift that everybody says they had. I don't, I don't buy it. I think, yeah, Tupac wanted to be on his own, not unlike any other. I mean, didn't Prince go through stuff? And, yeah. and um, geez, I think Eminem went through it. Everybody has gone through it. They, they wake up once they're in it, and they realize, I'm getting screwed. Yeah. So they want to go off independently. And, Let me you know. ask you uh, this real quick. Um, there's a big dispute about it. This is back to the shooting, if you don't mind. No, no, that's is that fine. Okay. okay. Um, was Suge Knight grazed by a bullet, or people say that it was just flying glass to no, no, minimize a, uh, his injury? Well, everybody's like, "Oh, big deal." No, he had a, he had a piece of shrapnel at the base of his skull. Hmm. Yeah, right at the top of his neck, at the base of his skull, the shrapnel. I, I don't believe it was removed, but he had a piece. I think it's still there. But he yeah. had a piece of shrapnel. He was in the ambulance with Tupac, and he wasn't just riding to the hospital with Tupac. He was also being taken to the ambulance. Right. And he had, you know, but yeah, he had a piece of shrapnel. I mean, Tupac was up and down and everywhere. He was trying to dodge, yeah. and he was trying to get in the back, and he couldn't. And he's up and down, and he really blocked. It was like a body block wow. just because he was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you, you don't hand a, a semi-automatic weapon, you know, to somebody and say, hey, shoot Tupac and, and don't hit me. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, it's so yeah, stupid. Right. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. But, no, I Shook was angry. I mean, he was shot at too. Yeah, and right. It's business of, oh, he wasn't hurt. He was hurt. I talked to the doctor about it. Oh, really? He absolutely had a piece of shrapnel on his head hmm. at the base of his... Can you imagine the back of your head at the base of your skull? No. I, I don't want to imagine that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what he had in. I mean, he had a fragment from a from a bullet, and and um, just like you do in a war zone, you know. I mean, stuff is flying everywhere. Yeah. But Tupac was literally jumping up and I mean, moving around and everything. He was like, and Suge at one, Suge was trying to pull him down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But trying to pull him down. Th that's so that, not action. Those are not physical actions of somebody who was in on it. You know, if he oh, was in on it, he would have had a bullet through vest, or he would have. Yeah. He would have had his. He, you know what? He would have had his door open. Exactly. And he yeah, thank you. That's exactly. He would have had his hand on the door handle, saying, "Here we go." So yeah, shouts ring out. Doctor. Get out of the door. Get the hell out of there. That's. And he obviously ducked his head because it, it got the back of his head. If yeah. He would had his head up. He would have. He would have been shot in the, in the head or the face. Yeah, right. That would have caught him right smack dab on the side of his head. Yeah. So he, no, he would have been out the door and flattened and, you know, yeah, he would have been on the ground. And, you know, the other theory is, and, and I do believe this is a possibility, that, yeah. that shooting was supposed to take place in front of the club. Okay, that, that's, and that's interesting. And it just happened to see him first. And now, if, even if that were true, still would have been with him because he would have been walking with him. Yeah, right. But I think I think they were going to... I mean, there was a line out the door. It was a private party. Yeah. There were people everywhere. That would be where you wanted to do it. I think they just happened upon him. Why...